are two models. So there's a four gigabyte model that includes Wi-Fi. Um, and that can hold up to 35,000 documents, a, a lot. <laughs> and then we also have an 8 gigabyte model that can hold up to 75,000 documents. And that has Wi-Fi and 3G, and that's um, through AT&T. Oh, of course, of course. So um, this is the queue, and um, if you like, we can go into the USA Today newspaper. There you go. Mm -hmm. And you can go directly to any section that you're interested in seeing. So we'll go to the first page. And if you're interested in learning about Spanish language gun tracing systems, go directly to that article. There you go. Mm -hmm. And if you want to page forward, you can either press the button in the lower right. Mm -hmm. Maybe we want to go to the life section. Mm -hmm. So this is showing you that you're going to page 131 in the newspaper. And so this is the life section and maybe we want to see. Um, roses heralded as new gone with the wind. <laughs> going to what page 136. So you can maneuver back and forth between the newspaper. Actually I think faster than a real paper. So, and if you look at, oh, let me, one thing I wanted to show you, um, we have Q True View. We're all, I'm partnering with Olive Software to create the look and feel of an actual newspaper or the actual magazine. So instead of just plain text, it's formatted with a beautiful graphic design. And I think, um, you know, with all of the graphics and charts and so forth, it, um, you know, just creates a richer reading experience for the reader. So, let's see, go back to the home page. And you can see on the left hand side I have my calendar for the day and it's automatically uploaded every day. And um, this morning at nine o'clock I'm scheduled for booth duty <laughs> in the morning. And it will open up the uh, Outlook appointment invite, tell me what the day looks like. And I'm going to open up another appointment that has an attachment to it. Actually, this one has two attachments to it. So here's the meeting invite. I'm going to press on the two attachments. And let me open up this PowerPoint slide. And it put it in a landscape format because it knows which way is up. So, and um, the other thing I was going to mention to you, when you go to meetings, so this is really targeted to the mobile business professional. When you go to meetings, you tend to take stacks of paper, you know. Instead of taking stacks of paper, you take the queue with you. You have all of the documents that you need with you at any time. And Office, so Microsoft Office documents, um, so it includes Microsoft Word, Word Docs, um, PowerPoint slides, Excel spreadsheets, so maybe I can show you an Excel spreadsheet. Um, PDFs, um, magazines, newspapers, ebooks. So, so that e ebooks so e is a Moby Pocket or something? Well, for us, I'm thinking, you know, that people will probably be transferring a lot of their work content. Um, a lot of business professionals subscribe to newspapers on a daily basis, magazines and so forth. So, um, I was going to try to show you an Excel. Oh, here's an Excel spreadsheet. And, you know, business professionals need to um, navigate back and forth between documents. So here's an Excel spreadsheet. It includes everything on it. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty hard to read those little numbers. So I'm going to enlarge it using this button down here. And then you just simply enlarge it to the size that you need. And you can either maneuver in the document by using um, the arrows, or you can also you know, swipe it in order to move it back and forth in order to see the document. So, so I'll go back to home. And um, one thing that I also wanted to show you was that we have um, different, you know, search capability. Mm -hmm. So 
in order to find documents that you're looking for, let's say I'm going to do a search of all of my content that I have on my queue. And let's see, I typed in Wall Street earlier. I don't know if it's going to uh, yeah. do it again. Oh, I forgot the space. Can we do a new search? documents. Um, another thing that I wanted to show you was in um, kind of searching or going back and forth between documents. So, oh, toggle back over here. So you can go to your high priority documents. These are those that I've kind of um, posted as high priority. You can mark certain documents as watch documents. So I'm watching top nine annual reports of different companies and so forth. Um, so it enables you to let's see, I'm gonna take an action. Let's see if there's an action I can take. So I'm gonna sort by name. So then it enables you to maneuver around and sort your, organize your documents in ways that make sense for you. What else can I tell you? Oh, you can go to recent activity. So one of the things when I'm working, I quite often have like five, five documents up at one time. <laughs> so it shows you the most recent documents that you've actually been working with or, or reading on the queue. And then it enables you to go back and forth between those documents very quickly. Yeah, so um, let me see, company background. <laughs> so here we have annotations down at the bottom with this toolbar. If I just press right there, um, I'm going to first start out by putting a little post-it note on it to say this is an important section of this document. So my post-it note goes there. Um, this you use for writing. So let me, um, you write with your finger. Huh. Look at that. Huh. There you go. So you can also highlight. So, and you just put your finger over the text that you want to highlight. Seems like there's a delay in the highlight. Well, I'm not able to get that to work for me right now. What else? Yeah. So this will take you then if you want to highlight something. We got the highlighter to work before. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Your finger just has to press it the right way. You learn how to do that. Are you going to do a note? Okay. Yeah, and then you can move it over, I, I think, for some reason. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Okay. In addition, you know, we bring it to all the content while all the people are going to You can personalize the queue so that there, if there are certain favorite documents that you use on a regular basis, you can flag them so that they're always at the bottom of your queue. Yeah, I mean, so I think, I think that's good. Are there any specific questions or have you been able to hold the queue and feel it? 
but the question is, it's very, very light. It weighs one pound, a third of an inch thick. We've worked with a um, really good partner, IDEO, in the design and the look and feel of the queue. And are these one of these ships? These are actually on sale today. These are on sale. Okay. So the Wi-Fi version. And did we? Did I tell you the pricing? Ours is the largest screen on the market. <laughs> yeah. One of three. Yeah, there you go. So you know that you can enlarge that if you want to see it better. Do you want to do that? Or? Yes.